A panorama draws the viewer into an ancient lost world when the Khmer civilization ruled over swathes of Southeast Asia. Through 360 degrees, the new attraction beside Cambodia's Angkor Wat temple complex seamlessly blends 3D sculpture and 2D painting. And though it depicts the proudest era in Cambodian history, the artists, the funding and the design all came from North Korea. Its leadership is a global pariah, but management here are hoping visitors won't be deterred. You can see around this museum that uh, is not uh, related to any political issue about the North Korean uh, regimes. This museum is uh, for develop uh, tourism products and also our Khmer culture only. The Angkor Panorama Museum is a creation of Mansude, North Korea's most prestigious art studio. Works by its 4,000 artists can be seen throughout the communist country, including these giant statues of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. But it also makes commissions for foreign governments, the colossal African Renaissance monument in Senegal, a statue of Joseph Kabila in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Namibia's new state house were all produced by the Pyongyang studio. According to Nicholas Bonner, who sells its work in his Beijing gallery, the deals are more about commerce than propaganda. If you want something built, uh, then Manchester Art Studio will probably be very cost effective. So I think that is a large part of the consideration. The panorama is one of Mansude's largest overseas projects to date, and the first time it's directly invested money abroad. After it recoups the $26 million cost, revenues will eventually pass entirely to Cambodia. But human rights groups say the museum is supporting one of the world's most oppressive regimes. We feel reasonably sure to say that the money is going to be going back to some aspect of the government or the ruling Korean Workers' Party. Uh, our view is that tourists shouldn't go and patronize that. Uh, you know, ultimately, Cambodia should be joining a, a, the world consensus to take action against crimes against humanity in North Korea, not find ways to financially support them. Thousands visit Angkor Wat every single day, but so far the new museum is attracting just a trickle of visitors. Nonetheless, the North Korean regime looks to have left a permanent imprint on one of Asia's most iconic tourist destinations.